Hey yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another video today. How to list your first product on Amazon. How exciting. Let's jump straight into it. Did you know that of all the people who open an Amazon seller account, the hundreds of thousands, that only 2% actually list a product and start selling? So just by taking this step and following this video today, you're almost there at the 2% of all people who sell on Amazon. So congratulations on taking a step forward. To go along with today's video, you obviously already have to have an Amazon seller account. Now, if you haven't done that yet, I will put a little card up above. I've made a video on it. Watch that first and jump back across. We're going to jump into my computer here. I'm going to be going between the camera and the computer just to give you a full guide of how we do it. Uh, but without any further ado, let's jump straight in. Alrighty, so once you've logged into your Seller Central account, you're going to come through to your homepage like this. Uh, I've jumped into my tester account today so I can go along with you guys. Um, and what we're going to want to do is click up here the little hamburger icon on the top left and we want to go to our catalog tab. Okay, and we're going to come straight over here to add products. Now that's going to load us through to this homepage um, of which if you're wanting to sell something that is already on Amazon, you can just uh, put in the ASIN or the barcode number here. That's going to bring it up if you're doing like retail arbitrage or you're just selling something that's already been made. Um, but what I always encourage and what we're going to be looking at today is when you've created your own sort of product uh, with a differentiation and you're listing a completely new product that's not sold on Amazon for the first time. So we want to click I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. And so the first step is going to be selecting the product category. So the product we're going to be using today is um, pregnancy pillows. So they, they look like this. This is the sort of thing we're going to be doing just for the example. Um, so when we come in here, uh, what we're going to do if we're not sure of our category from the start, we're just going to type in the name of our product. So pregnancy pillow and hit search and it's going to automatically give us some suggestions there of uh, which category it can be. So you can see here we've got baby, nursery, bedding, maternity pillows, which sounds really good. We can go home, bedding and linen, pillows, maternity and body pillows. So it just kind of depends on how you're wanting to position it. Um, but you can go through and check those categories and see which one lines up best for you. Otherwise, what you can do is go in and click on one of the products. Um, so I've clicked on one of the pregnancy pillows here. And if you scroll all the way down uh, to where their category information is, just here, we can see uh, this is number one in maternity pillow. So that's the category they've ended up in. And that's the one you want to be selling in. So we can see there uh, that these two here come to maternity pillows and we just want to pick which path we want to take. So we're going to pick the first one here, um, baby nursery bedding and then maternity pillows. And then we select that. And then we're going to come through to the product um, identity page. So this is where you're going to put in your name for the product. Um, when you, it's okay for doing it the first time, but then uh, when you're optimizing your listing and making it so people can find it easier, you're going to want your title to be uh, different to how it is now. But for now, we can just put in a placeholder um, so we're just going to put in pregnant pillow and the brand name. You're probably not going to have a brand name at this point. Uh, so it's okay to just put in generic or um, I like to put in something there. Uh, but you can always just tick the box underneath as well. And then you're going to need a barcode. So I don't have one for this product. So I'm just going to put in some random numbers. Um, but you're going to need a barcode. So you can either get that from GS1, uh, which is your big proper barcode site which is going to give you authentic barcodes they're a bit more expensive i think it's a couple hundred dollars per barcode um or and this is at your own discretion your own choice you can use websites like barcode mania which give you reuse barcodes um they're much much cheaper like maybe seven dollars or something per barcode um but in amazon's um in their rules you have to have a proper barcode in my experience, the ones from Barcode Mania do still work, um, but I know that Amazon's always cracking down on it uh, and that might change in the future. So it's at your own discretion, your own choice, which way you want to go. Um, but either way, you'll select it's either a um, an EAN or the UPC or whichever way you go. When you're doing this process, the most common problem you're going to come across is I'm putting in the barcode number and you're going to get a message saying something like, this barcode is already in use with someone else, especially if you're using a barcode from Barcode Mania. Now, if this happens, uh, the only solution I've found is to email Barcode Mania or one of these other sites and say, hey, my barcode doesn't work. It says it's already being used. Most of the times in my experience, they'll then send you a new barcode uh, to test out. And most of the times uh, that fixes it up. 
Um, so just remember that and give it a try and, mo and usually uh, it can be fixed quite easily. So then we're going to come across here uh, where we're putting in a bit more information about the product. Um, a lot of the times you're not going to have this yet because you haven't built it out to be optimized. Uh, but like the product description and the bullet points, we can uh, just put in a little bit now. We can say four pregnant mums. I spelled it wrong, but it doesn't matter for now. And I'm just going to copy and paste that. Let them type name. We'll just put pillow there manufacturer this is where you'd put uh your company name or whatever you have uh if you have like an overarching company or your abn you'd want to put that in here as you're the manufacturer so i'm just going to put leave that um and then we can go across to the offer we might have to put in that model number but we'll come back and check in a sec quantity we can leave that um, your price, just you can put in anything as the placeholder now, maybe like a rough guide because uh, Amazon doesn't like it if you change it too much. We're always shipping in things that are new um, and we want to select Amazon will ship and provide customer service. So wanting to do this as FBA fulfilled by Amazon. Uh, those ones are then listed in there. We're going to come across to product details and this is a lot of like uh, the safety features and stuff that goes on with some of your products. So you can see here it needs like the fabric type, so we're just going to put in cotton. We don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. And a, lo a lot of the time, um, you're not going to have to fill out a lot of these because that's for things uh, that have like electronics and batteries and stuff like that. There's a lot of regulations and laws surrounding those items. Um, so just fill in the ones that um, apply to your product and that you know at the moment. And then we're going to jump across here to the safety and compliance section. Um, if you have any variations, you'll see that little tab there. That's where you can put it in. That's like for the pillows. If I had one that was blue and I was also selling one that was red, I could list it as two different variations. Um, but for your very first product, a lot of the time, you're just going to have one. Uh, then we want to put in here the area we're going to be sourcing it from. So for a lot of the time, it's going to be China. We can click that. Are batteries required? No. And then your weight... Um, and any fabric regulations, you can always put that in at a later time if it's something that is required for your product. But for us here, we're not gonna need that. Uh, images, we don't need to do that now as we don't have any done. And then our shipping, we wanna come across and it's gonna need um, some examples here for like your packaging length and your width that it's gonna then use to work out uh, your Amazon fees uh, for when it's shipping it. So we're just going to go back through now and check off the ones that Amazon's need. They'll be highlighted in red. Um, so if we come through here back at vital information, your model number, unless you're going uh, super specific in with different parts, maybe like for parts for machinery or anything like that, that's not something you're really going to need. Um, so I'm just going to put one in there, come to our product details. You see the little marker up here, uh, number of items. It's just one per pack. And again, the part number, which doesn't matter. So we're just going to put one power plug there's no power plug and that was all they needed there and then for shipping we'll come back it looks like um they do need a rough guide for the packaging size um so what i would do here is i'd come back to one of the ones that we'd used earlier and i would just take uh their packaging size because we're going to assume ours is going to be similar and then once we do find out if we need to change it, we can go back in and update that. So I've just come through here. I filled out pretty much all of them. Uh, one that's held up was your dangerous goods regula regulations. Uh, for us here, a pregnancy pillow, I've just gone ahead and selected. Uh, not applicable as that doesn't work for us. And then material fab fabric uh, regulations. At the moment, we're not uh, making it from bamboo, any fur or wool. Uh, everything's cotton. So we can hit not applicable. Again, if any of these changes, uh, you can always come back in and adjust it later. And uh, as I said before, if you have an issue with your barcode, it's going to show up here. And as you can see, because mine's not a real barcode, it's uh, giving me a little error message here. Uh, but as we filled everything else out, usually you would hit save and finish. Uh, and it can take between like 15, 20 minutes sometimes, but then it's going to load in uh, to your inventory space. So once you hit that save and finish button, it's going to pull you through to here, uh, which is your inventory page, which you can see. Um, and it's going to show up like this so uh, it'll have the pillow there um, it'll show like your different sizes and the price you put um, that one's a cancelled one because I didn't have the barcode there to fill it in properly uh, but usually you could come over to this little drop down menu and see so you can go manage your image send in replenish inventory for when you want to uh, ship inventory there 
and uh, edit any of the details that might have changed from what we put in there. And look at that, it's all set up to go. Uh, it was quick and easy. You guys can now go ahead and list your very first product. All that's left then is to optimize the listing and uh, send the stock in once you're all ready to go. Uh, so you'll be able to get a video to do both of those down below. If you need any other help with any other areas like uh, sourcing a product or finding winning products, I have a whole playlist down below uh, called Launching Your Amazon Brand. Uh, that gives you everything you need to start a brand in 2023 or later on. Um, but all I can do is give you the information. You can always take a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink. So I've given you the information. You've got to go out and do it for yourself, okay? If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I always check the comments and respond. Or we have our Sunday product talks, which you can come along to. I go live for an hour where I go through different product ideas and let you know what I'm thinking, whether I think they're good, um, or why I wouldn't pick them. And if you have any questions or you need any help, you can come along then um, and I'll be there for an hour and I'll help in any way that I can. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Great job on making it through. And remember, you're only one product away from changing your life. So have an amazing rest of your day. I believe in you and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.